Good evening. The, it's getting late out. This is Patsy's porch light, and I've had a long day. I've been into my nephew's baby shower, well, his girlfriend's baby shower, and um, and went shopping with my sister. But I have, you know, this technology stuff. It's just for the birds. I just had to tell my porch people that I had a video of my donkey sassy pants and Daisy Do and my chickens and Ziva and feeding them and just showing you my little animals and here I downloaded or uploaded or whatever kind of loaded and I don't have my locked and loaded hat and I hit a button and then it's like oh it's gone and I've been trying to email from my phone onto my computer and this technology just is for the birds. It's for the chickens. You know, give the dickens to the chickens. And my husband said the word dickens is really means devil when you look up the word dickens. So what do I do in a world that's full of technology and I am just so technology illiterate kind of stuff. Stuff. You know, I can't make this stuff dance like what my hubby and what my son does. I don't. I work better with just put a shovel in my hand, put a, I don't know, a hoe or a rototiller, simple things like that. I just don't belong in this century. It's like Kelgon take me away back to 1880s, but then I'd have to fight Indians, and I ain't good at doing that. But anyways, I guess I'd better start learning. If I'm going to be on this gadgetry, I'd better start learning how to do it. So I am going to try to show you my um, sassy pants and try to get that uploaded for you. But I'm not going to give up either. You know what? i got to stay perseverance. That's one of the fruit of the Spirit is perseverance. You keep trying and trying and if I download it three times and and delete it three times, just do it again until you get it right. You just practice and practice, but I just it's like I have an itching to say something or an itching for a teaching. And there's just something that I want to share and it's like I wanted to get on here and just Say hi to my friends out there in the porch land and to tell you that even on this night, and it is, it's what, quarter after 10 or somewhere around there. I guess it's 10, 18. And it's late and I should be in bed. But I just, there's just something that's scratching in my spirit like just something and I'm just wanting to worship my God this night and tell him how wonderful he is and I hope that if anyone's watching this just lift up your eyes and tell our father what an awesome wonderful God he is you know I heard a, a rabbi say this and he said we always say what an awesome God we have but you know what awesome really means? Some awe. You just get give God some awe. We should be saying, what an awful God we serve. <laughs> Full of awe. But to us, awful means yuck. But really, you look at it and it's full of awe. We are full of awe for um, what a wonderful God that we serve and we saw these uh, um, ultrasounds of this baby and they have this 3D imagery of seeing that little darling in her womb, 3D. And you know that baby was doing this on its face. It had like doing the, the peace. It was doing the peace sign. It's like, but we all know that peace, and I'll give you a little education, this doesn't actually mean peace. It's really, um, we use it as that, but it's really 
like the broken cross upside down. It's, it's mocking. You know, only one can give us true peace, and that's Jesus Christ. And he's not, you know, we hear all kind of things about hand gesturings to where now it's like, gee, I'm scared to talk with my hands because somebody will say, oh, she did a satanic symbol, and I didn't mean to do that. I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say, I'm scared to talk with my hands. Everybody's on the witch hunt for satanic symbols with your hands. But anyways, I just wanted to say about, but we know that, you know, people try to do the peace, you know, with with that. But that little darling in the womb was doing this on her forehead, peace, you know. It was just funny. Anyways, but I guess I'm just rambling, but I just wanted to tell you, friends, that on this Saturday night, if you're lonely and sad, don't depend on a human for all your comfort. Don't depend on a human. You depend on God Almighty. He's the one going to get you out of your pickles. He's the one that's going to get you out of your binds. Don't depend on man, for we're just flesh. Depend on God Almighty, my dear friends. So you have a great day, to, or great night, I should say. And keep that porch light burning because it's like going on 1030 and I need to hit the hay. But I just had to tell you how much you are loved tonight. And God bless. Keep that firelight burning. Patsy Porchlight signing off. Bye-bye.